Welcome back to Nerd News Today, I'm Matthew, and today we're taking a look at a brand new limited edition Star Wars piece from Gentle Giant. Gentle Giant has been making resin statues and sculptures for a long time, and they've been doing quite an amazing job with the Star Wars license. They've done everything from full-size busts to half-size busts to full figural statues. They've even done some of those awesome Kenner-style jumbo-size Star Wars action figures, which I really love. And today, we're taking a look at a mini bust from Star Wars. Not just Star Wars, this is actually from Star Wars Rebels. Today, we're taking a look at the Star Wars Rebels 1-7 scale Darth Vader mini bust. So this resin guy right here, you might be wondering, why 1-7? That's a really odd choice for a scale. I mean, it's not quite 1-6, which is pretty darn popular. It's definitely not 1-12. So, you know, why that choice of all the things? I don't know. I'm not Gentle Giant. I can't answer that for you. But what I can do today is take this guy out of the packaging and show him off to you to see whether or not he is worth your money. So before we get into that, I want to talk about the packaging here real quick because it's actually some pretty cool packaging. Uh, you know, normally Gentle Giant stuff, it tends to just be a simple cardboard box. And that's it. It's just a box. There's nothing really to it. It's just that. There's no windows. All you usually get on those boxes is photos of what the statue is going to look like from each side. So you'd have like, you know, a shot of it from the front on the front, a shot of it from the left side on the left side, and so on and so forth. But here in this case, with this 1-7 scale Darth Vader bust, we get, well, actually a window into how this thing's going to look. It's not a complete like panoramic window like we've gotten with some of the PVC statues that let's say Diamond Select does, but we still get to have a little bit of a glimpse of what's going on in there. So that's kind of cool. I really like this presentation here. And I also really appreciate the shape of the box. You know, normally the shape of the box, who cares? You know, it's just typically a box. But this time around, there's some actual design elements to it. I mean, you guys can see here the shape of this thing. It's, it's pretty unique. And I think it's a really nice way to showcase these figures off. Now, besides this window here in the front, we do still have photos of the statue on the side. So we have a photo on this side of him in this angle. And then on the opposite side, a slightly different angle for the Vader piece. Uh, and on the top of the piece here, nothing really amazing to talk about. It just says what it is again. Now, the back of the box is pretty nice here because it has, again, another image of Darth Vader, this time with a purple backdrop behind him. We also have a very short, very concise bio about who Darth Vader is, which, you know what, yeah, all of us, I think, pretty much at this point know who Darth Vader is, but I always appreciate a good bio, and uh, this is a really nice one here. And right below that bio, it also gives us some production information about this piece here, which is basically explaining what it's made from, how it was put together, and more importantly, that this is a limited edition piece. And this Darth Vader mini bust is limited to only 3,000 pieces. Now, I'll be upfront with you guys, I'm not super familiar with Star Wars Rebels. I've watched a little bit of it here and there, have not finished the entire series. What I watched, though, I did like, and it looked great. I mean, the animation of that was gorgeous. So, uh, yeah, I especially did like that Darth Vader look. So I'm pretty excited to take a look at how this piece is and also to see how well it's going to translate from animation into a statue. And I feel like this should be a pretty easy knockout for these guys. So if it's not, well, I'll let you know. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a closer look at him from all angles. Also, you will like, you will subscribe, you will like this video, you will subscribe to this channel. All right. Let's keep going. All right, and here is our Darth Vader out of the packaging, all assembled. Let's do a quick rotation right now as so you get a good look all around this Star Wars Rebels version of Darth Vader. And immediate thoughts are that this is just a striking piece. I mean, this is a wonderful version of Vader. Uh, there's a lot of great stuff here. A lot of stuff I've talked about in the past with Gentle Giant pieces. You know, I'm seeing the same things here, and those are good things. You know, I should mention, there's probably a few little bits of schmutz here and there as we rotate this guy. You're going to probably notice that, you know, because there was some styrofoam packaging down on this guy, that's how they keep him very secure in the box. So because of that, there is going to be some little odds and little white bits here and there on him, but we can just easily brush those off. Not a big deal. But yeah, as far as like pieces go, as far as mini busts go, like this is wow. Like I am, my breath is taken away by this one. This does everything I want for a Darth Vader piece. So let's get started by taking a closer look at the head sculpt here of our Darth Vader. And you know, I say head sculpt, but you're talking about Darth Vader. It's more of a mask sculpt, really. So, you know, does this look like our Star Wars Rebel version of Vader? Yeah, yeah, it does. It's a very iconic version of Vader because not only is it the Star Wars Rebels version of Vader, it's also based a lot closer to some of the early designs by Ralph McQuarrie. That's who designed the look of the original Star Wars films, and he's responsible for a lot of what we see with for like the entire aesthetic of that galaxy. So yeah, what they did with Rebels is they made him a lot closer to that original style, and I love it. I mean, I'm a big fan of the McCoy artwork. I mean, I own tons of production art books just because I wanted to get more of his drawings. And yeah, this is just exactly what I wanted. Like, you know, I want it to be this kind of more elongated face, the much more stylized Vader that we don't really see in the movies, but we thankfully do get in the Rebels cartoon. And I always loved that they made that choice. So besides that, we get some other details here with the Vader, and uh, a lot of them are going to be here with his body. 
So I'm actually, let's see, I'm gonna have to do something kind of fun right now, which is take the lightsaber off because it is removable. Uh, let's see if I can tilt him a little bit more to get you a better view of what's going on with his chest because, well, I can use his lightsaber as a pointer. So yeah, there's a lot of wonderful detail and nice color work here. I mean, I especially love the respirator device that's on his chest here. Always got that nice little red button. All these just like retro sci-fi elements that, you know, only make sense in the Star Wars galaxy at this point. Uh, you got all that great detail here. Likewise, too, with the belt, uh, a lot of cool design work going on in the belt area. You've got, you know, the buckle over here. You've got all the little odds and ends that are on the sides of his belt. I don't quite know what they do, but I guarantee you some crazy Star Wars fan out there does know what they do. And if you want to tell me, feel free to, because I wouldn't mind knowing. But yeah, really nice stuff across the board here. Just great design work. And, uh, you know, another thing worth pointing out now, too, and you can see a lot easier, is the different tones of black that we're getting across this Vader piece here. So, you know, what's something I was mentioning or alluding to a few moments ago, and that's how, you know, when Gentle Giant does their pieces like this out of resin, there are often different ways they can do the same color. And in this case, we're looking at black and the shades of black because it's something that exists. And it's not just gray, but there are different ways to show off black. And part of that is also the texture of what we're using to show the blacks. So for example, Darth Vader's helmet here is this really nice metallic reflective surface. You get a very deep dark black with that. And you get that also in the shoulder pads. Uh, but as we move around the rest of his outfit here, we're seeing more of a matte black finish. And that's to kind of help show that that's fabric and that's not the same material as what you got in the armor and the helmet and that kind of thing. So that's what I mean by using different shades of black. And you're also getting that too with the cape, which is also fairly gorgeous. I mean, let's just pull out for a second and admire this cape here because, wow, talk about flow. You know, that's one of the things I always love about a good cape is it's got a flow. And this has it. I mean, look at that. You can really see it too with this lighting I've got going on here. You can see just what's going on with it. You know, it's not really flowing one direction harder than the other. It's kind of just like calm right now, but it's still active. And I like that. It's good to have that kind of energy going on in the piece. So yeah, you know, lots of great choices with the color. Uh, I'm liking the types of paint that they used. It really helps tell a story. It also helps you define who this character is, and that's Darth Vader. And of course, you can't define Darth Vader without that lightsaber, so I'm gonna put that back on him right now. And uh, yeah, let's actually talk about that lightsaber a little bit too, because same thing that's going on there. You know, there's a lot of really cool effects happening here. I especially love the uh, translucent plastic that they're using here for it. The hilt on that lightsaber too, really gorgeous, just great color. Uh, I, I'm so happy that they use a reflective material and, and not just like painting a piece of resin or anything else because the other thing too is that would be like such a fragile piece of resin if they decided to do it that way, it would just probably break off instantly. But you know, doing it as this more flexible piece of plastic, it's a great choice. Light can go through it. So you know, if you lit this up even better than I'm doing it right now, you could really have it look like it's glowing. And that's gonna make this statue come to life even more than it already feels like it. Because to be quite fair, I mean, this is a pretty lifelike animated piece and not just because it's from Rebels and from an animated series. Like it really does have a great amount of life to it. And uh, that's also why I, I have it lit up the way I do here, because I wanted to really show that off to you guys, because lighting is a big part of that. And especially with your collections, with statues in particular, you know, they're kind of stuck in one pose. You kind of have to do some of the work to help it come to life. So lighting is key to showing off your statue collection. But a lot of times, and especially with a character who has got so much black and darkness going on here, you kind of need to add some light to it or else it's just going to be nothing. It's just going to be stuck in the shadows, collecting dust. Now, another nice thing too I want to talk about here are the hands. You know, this one's holding a lightsaber. Not really a ton to say, but I love this hand here. It's just like so forceful and gripping and like very menacing. That's, that's a nice little piece there. Uh, also worth mentioning is the base. The base is uh, not the most exciting, unfortunately. You know, I've, I've talked a lot about the gentle giant bases. They kind of just tend to like stay in a certain uh, aesthetic, certain style, and they tend to try to match it throughout different lines. And in this case, this is the Star Wars look. And, um, you know, it's not really the most exciting, unfortunately. It just feels like a bunch of hockey pucks stacked on each other of different sizes. You know, like this is the most variation you get is this bottom piece here. So there's really nothing to it. I mean, I can rotate it and show you guys that there's just nothing crazy here. You know, like it's not like it's even an imperial symbol or anything like that. It's just a bunch of cylinders stacked on each other. Uh, although worth mentioning is on the underside of our Vader, we do have the information about him being limited edition. So that's over there. That's my number as well. You can see that. So that's there. We also got a card with that information too. So, you know, his number will always be there in various ways. But, you know, overall, this is a really wonderful Darth Vader statue. Uh, I really like the way this piece looks. I like the way how it came out. Uh, they made a lot of great choices here. And as far as a minibus goes too, you know, it's fairly affordable. You know, this guy right now is about $125. And it might sound like a lot, but again, keep in mind, this is a resin piece. Resin ain't cheap, folks. Resin costs money because uh, it is a pretty heavy-duty plastic, and he's got some good weight to him. You know, this is a kind of hefty mini bust 
that you can put on a shelf and not have to worry about knocking over. Although if you did knock it over, uh, well, say goodbye to your Vader. <laughs> but that's a different problem for another day altogether. But yeah, overall, like, this is a wonderful Darth Vader piece. If you want something to commemorate him, put him on your shelf somewhere, I mean, this is a good way to do it. And it's also from Star Wars Rebels, and there's not going to be a ton of Star Wars Rebels merchandise, so get it while you can, especially at this quality. And as far as Darth Vader's go too, I mean, this is a look for Darth Vader that you're probably also not going to get a ton of merchandise out of. Rebels is pretty much iconic in terms of its look, and this is a real kind of signature piece for Vader. I mean, there's a lot happening here with Lord Vader. So I highly recommend this piece if you're a Star Wars fan, if you've got a Star Wars fan in your family looking for a good gift, I mean, this is the way to go. It's just really great piece, a lot of good details. I mean, it's even hard to kind of tell, but uh, in this video, his eyes are actually a little bit reddish also. Uh, and that, that could just be the lighting, but I'm pretty sure it's actually just him. You know, it's based on the cartoon, so they gave him a little bit more life to those eyes. Or if not, they're just really reflective and showing off that red more. I'm just noticing it right now, but yeah, top to bottom, great Vader worth the money, worth the effort. So yeah, top to bottom, this is a lot of bang for your buck and worth every penny, or I guess every galactic credit. So if you wanna pick up this Darth Vader for yourself, we're gonna have links in the description for this video below. If you click on any of those links and make any purchases using them, it helps this YouTube channel at no extra cost to you. So please consider doing that this holiday season or whenever if you wanna make any purchases. In my opinion, you can't go wrong with this version of Vader. Perfect size, easy to get and a collectible that's gonna last on your shelf for a lifetime. So that's our look at the Gentle Giant Star Wars Darth Vader 1-7 scale mini bust from Diamond Select and Gentle Giant. Thanks for watching, we'll see you guys here next time with more statue reviews, action figure reviews, and everything else we do here on Nerd News Today.